All right, thanks, buddy. Have a good day, okay? Take care. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with where we are at once again. We are back at Five Vines, ready to re-up on a new group of beers for the beer series. But before we get there, I'm going to check out this, this new coffee shop that I've never had before called Analog Coffee. Of course, it's open. Thank God everything's closed to the pandemic, but uh, we'll mask up and uh, head over there before we hit Five Vines. Yeah, let's get some breakfast. I launched right out of the house today. No food, no nothing, and I uh, thought I'd vlog and bring you guys with me. We're already here, but uh, let's go enjoy more now, yeah? See you in a bit. All right, here we are, Analog Coffee. Got myself just a little cold, cold brewy here, and uh, with some almond milk, see how good it is. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Really bitter, a little bit bitter, but uh, hey man, they're open, Analog Coffee, great people. Uh, I left them a tip, they're open during the pandy, so. Good old Canadian breakfast, I guess. I didn't get a bagel or anything to eat. Just uh, good old Canadian breakfast. Coffee and cigarettes, but of course I just got me some vape. So, we'll uh, get this down. We'll head over there across the street to Vive Vines and uh, we'll get a growler. And uh, we're up on some uh, IPAs and some craft beers to review for you guys. All right, so let's get on this. Enjoy the day. It's a beautiful sunny day, so sitting on the bench getting some sun and then uh, I'll see you guys in a bit when we hit the store what well, you guys all been waiting for alright cheers alright just one more thing before we go in guys I just want to show you this place it's really fucking awesome it's just like uh, a neighborhood area this you know some condos above but below they got all these strip malls right coffee shop marble slab uh, a bunch of stuff like that uh, Moderno that's my favorite uh, THC spot or dispensary super good uh some local made local marketplace uh five vines there which is a beer store we're gonna head into there's a great pub right on the corner and around it wraps on and there's more but it's so great it's such a new it's such a classy area right so this is kind of the common area a great space to live you know it's super nice and um there's really a lot i mean it wraps all around and there's stuff all around here so as you can see, uh, since I moved into the new area, literally five minutes away, this uh, this uh, neighborhood is called Mahogany. So it's called a village center. So there's tons of shit around here. It's pretty awesome. You guys can see why I like to come here, hang out, have a good time. But that uh, just happens so to be where my favorite beer store, favorite dispensary is that I just found. You know, just tried out the coffee shop today. It's a great fucking place. So. How about uh, enough talk? Let's go check out this five vines, see what they got uh, for uh, for beer on the growler bar this week and what to buy. All right, let's go. All right, so the good old growler bar. When someone's there, we'll grab some of that, refill that. But uh, let's check what's new this week. They always put the new beers for the week up here. I follow them on Instagram, so I'm aware of what they usually have, but... Wow, look at that can art, that's amazing. I did sanitize my hands, so that's why I grab all these. Look at that though, what is this? So I'm gonna clove pear apple, hints of white wine, jeez. Interesting, interesting. Now this looks really good as well. The mosaics, I love mango and mosaic hops, so we did find out the last uh, little season there. See, it's not a fan of sours. It's just a little bit too much for me. Let's see what else they got. I got lots of sours lately. So if you're into that, that's what you can grab. Hazy Blonde Ale. That one actually sounds really good. Sawback Brewing. I always love to have a little bit of a look. And again, or see what's new, but also obviously in the, uh, the last vlog, showed you guys all of these and it takes so long to look at but there is a montage of all the beers so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through them all and if I find a few that I like I'll tune on in and show you guys and share it with me but if you want to see all of the beers uh, they're pretty similar to, to last vlog so go check that one out but let's see what they got get some beers fill up the growler and uh, carry on cheers so I actually decided once I find one that catches my eye I'll show you guys that but at the end we'll show you what we actually haul we gotta do this, look at this, it was all a dream, so cool. Grid by Duclaw, 
Um, 8.5% hazy double IPA orange vanilla. Um, all hopped up and served on adult beverage is a medium bodied and sweet with orange juice, tangerine peel, ground vanilla bean. Like, dude, let's do We gotta get that one. That's an amazing one. All right, that's caught my eye. It was all a dream school, baby. Here's another one that really caught my eye, obviously from the crazy kind of color design. But look at this, Color Burst 3, 6.3%. Um, a far out medley of berries, melon, and other tropical fruit. That one sounds really good, dude. That's caught my eye as well. Here's another cool one, it doesn't say anything about it. Snap, Crackle, and Hop, though, baby, by Parallel 49 Imperial Rice IPA. 9.3%, holy crap. Wasn't able to find any, uh, that's just a plug there. No information on it. I might have to look it up and uh, see about that one. But look at that one. That's pretty cool, eh? Alright, here, guys. We got the Strathcona Big Sexy Funk IPA, 5.5%. Now, it says this is a dry, hazy IPA with citrus accents and fresh tropical fruit aroma and taste. Good with the Pilsner malt, so I'm not a fan of that, but pretty interesting. If you are, if you like Pilsner and uh, drier flavors, then that one be for you. That's pretty cool. Wow, I gotta show you this one. That is really cool. That can art is amazing. Extra terrestrial bitter, a uh, 5.3. What is this one about? Don't you always want to explore the universe? Well, wait. Uh, extra terrestrial with a mild sweetness and a hint of bitterness. Interesting. Well, I already showed you guys, but the LA Vice that we reviewed was one of my top three favorites. It was so amazing. Amazing. Uh, Appavison with the banana and clove notes, so good. Now for what little regular beer section that you got, these guys have, for regular beer obviously, uh, it's it's pretty pretty awesome man. So they got the Singtel which I tried that, pretty good. Uh, Belcher Moon obviously is great as well, Ho Garden, three favorites. We got a lot of Airdinger at the liquor store near my place. I thought we might stock up on a couple of these different uh, beers here. Mainly these two, just to stock up for the wheel and have some uh, some variation. Just realize at the top there's signs say IPA, pale ale, you know, lager, wheat, uh, you know, season, sour, dark, all that. And I found myself kind of right in the middle here to pick the last beer. We got Walter's Way, which is an orange and coriander, which sounds super dope. By Rural Roots, we did do one of those before. But this one caught my eye as well. Invaders popped wheat ale, which we're gonna buy. Um, let's see. This one, meet our rival uh, brewery and our kids' OG favorite core beer, the Invader Hopped uh, Wheat Ale. Best in class multi award winning wheat ale has light citrusy flavors from genuine to dry hopped, uh, mandarina, Bavaria, and citra. Its light body and pillowy mouthfeel will leave you refreshed. Alright, well, let's try it. It's a cool can, pretty dope. We'll come back another day for this one show you guys what we got here we did go with the snap crackle hop the dreams the cold uh the color burst three a couple stuff for the wheel just to, for fun get fancy and the invader hop wheat ale that's what we're all gonna get but i just wanted to show you this last can here that's pretty cool the lemon look at this can art it's amazing pretty dope that one's fire but that's what we're gonna get that's the haul today, but let's uh, go up and get ourselves a growler. Hey buddy, how's it going? All good to go. I just like to fill up my growler. Um, what do we have this week, dude? So we got the uncommon. Uh, that's an apple cider. Okay. And we got the uh, analog popping seltzer. We got the cabin jungle juice. That's an IPA. Okay. And then we got the idiot brewing. That's the dry hop star. So okay. I would like to try the uh, analog popping pilsner and the cabin jungle juice IPA. Sure. That sounds good. So what are uh, what are those ones about? What what's in there? For the analog pop and pilsner. That's a crispy, ready, uh, old style pilsner. Okay. Not too popular, nothing. Okay. And 
Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's really good. The pilsner is really good. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit citrusy there, but not, uh, not too much. It's pretty refreshing and nice on the tongue. All right, let's try the uh, jungle juice. Mmm. Whoa. The jungle juice is really good. Um, it has, uh, wow, no, that one's really good. It has like more of like an IPA kind of uh, flavor, right? But the Pilsner is a lot more easier to drink. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess, because uh, the cabin is a 7.42. You know what, we're gonna go with the, the analog poppin' Pilsner and then uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll chug it on the wheel, guys, we'll see. All right, thanks, buddy. Yeah, for like a personal sipping, I definitely would have went for three, but you can drink more of it and probably be able to chug the, the pills in there, so we'll go with that. <clears throat> Both are pretty good, though. The thing is with the jungle juice, though, dude, is like you drink too much of it, it kind of gets a lot after a while, you know? You can only have a tiny bit of that. Really good, though. I'll have to come back for another day. Or screw it, or just get both, I don't know. <laughs> Like that, fill it up, take it up, good to go. Great place here at Five Vines. <clears throat> I can pay here too, right? I can pay here too, right? Oh yeah. Sweet. That bad boy, and then uh, a couple of these, I'll get them up for you. Sure. All right, there we go. All done and done, we're gonna pay up. Thank you, buddy, I appreciate that. Uh, and uh, we'll head back home, guys, cheers. All right, we're all re-upped on beers, guys. Thank you guys for tuning on in, I appreciate it. We're all got a nice little haul here to last a little while. Uh, I got a growler too, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. That should keep you occupied as we do the beer series again with some other videos, guys. We got podcasts, vlogs, lots of stuff intervening with that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for coming on by, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, beer series, podcast, whatever it may be. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little vlog content and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy. Peace.